Oh, yeah, I understand, Dallas. It's brilliant. You want us to file a flight plan for Gander and then hightail it to an Air Force base in Iceland. What's my problem? Nothing, except we just tried that little stunt at Mildenhall and we fooled nobody. Yes. Copy that, Dallas. It's nuts what you did at no no. All right, one, you choked, so you got no right to comment. Two, I was always in control. And three, they got the message in Washington. There's a new plan, everyone's behind it. You might have got what you wanted, but you were way out of line. Maybe. Mr. Rob, I need you here. Do not go south on me, and do not try to turn this ship into the bounty. For better or worse, I'm the pilot, and on this flight, you are the co-pilot. So, uh, who's behind this new plan? The White House is calling the shots, and coordinating the FAA, Air Force, State Department, and the CIA. CIA. I'll go. We get this baby parked in case you and I come down with this bug. If there is a bug, then we'll ask some questions. going on down there? I see a squadron of firemen. They're all carrying guns. What the hell is that they got on? Those are protective suits. Chem warfare. Protective suits? Protecting against what? Us. James, the gauges are moving. They're filling the fuel tanks. That shooting was a warning, Dan. The whole world is willing to let us sit on this airplane and just watch us die. Copy that. We can't let that happen. motion will at least create the illusion we have some control over our own destiny. Give me good news. Well, I went up and back, checked every station. Absolutely no one is sick or showing any symptoms. Dr. Sanders told Brenda we still have 24 hours to go before we should reasonably expect to see symptomatic individuals. But it is good news that neither Ms. Hopkins nor Dr. Turner is feeling ill. Spirits are holding up real well, too. I believe we've handled this. I think that you have handled this as well as humanly possible, Captain. I think we all believe that. Captain Holland, Colonel Nasher. Yes, Colonel. We're loading the meals, medicine, and other items that you requested. We're going down at. Trying to get to the undercast. If we get close to the surface, we might be able to lose this guy. 6,000 feet. We need to shallow our descent at 3,000 feet. We'll do it at two. Okay, okay, 2,000. 2,000 feet. Pull out. James, pull out.
super stable. We're at 100 feet. How are your controls? We got any flight control problems? No, just the asymmetric thrust with one engine out on the right. Got a lot of left rudder trim cranked in. Why don't you take it? Okay. I got it. Uh, folks, this is Captain Holland. There is no other way to explain what just happened other than to just tell you. The explosion you heard was an air-to-air -air missile aimed at us. Whoever was trying to bring us down succeeded only in blowing off the outboard engine on the right side. Well, we can fly just fine on three engines. Now, we don't know who would want to shoot us out of international airspace. We also don't have a safe place to go now. We can no longer proceed to the desert airfield. I don't want to run the risk of encountering that fighter again. So, we're flying in a different direction, working on plan B. As before, please don't lunge at the cabin crew for more information. They don't know anything that I haven't just told you. And please keep the cabin lights off. We're attempting to be as invisible as a 747 can be. Damn it! What the hell is he doing? You know, he's trying to land. What are you doing, James? This son of a bitch wants the runway. He's not gonna get it. Move, damn it, move! James, give him the runway! Damn it, give him the runway! James, turn off, man, turn off! Now, Mr. Robb, we evacuate. By the book. What is this all about? John, Would you mind telling John, if you don't mind, I'll ask the questions here. <laughs>